We're going to Batravello. I'm so excited. I'm so excited to give them clothes that we've spent so long getting together and folding and all of that. I'm really excited. The kids were a joy to be around. Not a single one of them was uh, not excited for us to be there. They were always running around. Everyone was holding hands. Bajabella was so much fun. It, it definitely was a, a day that I don't want to forget. I just want to go back there and, I, and experience what I experienced. Bajabella is an organization for children who have been affected or infected by AIDS. Maybe their parents have been killed by AIDS. And so Vachabella, uh, it provides them beds to sleep on, food, education, where they might not be getting that at home. So what we did is we went from a priv privileged environment, came into poverty and said that we will live in poverty and we will help. Just like that. So what I'm saying to you, take the beauty out of it. When you walk around in our home and see how we live, I don't think any of you live like this. After our talk with Marion, we came out and we just got to play with them and walk around with them. And They were just so eager to meet us and all they wanted to do was hang out with us and get to know us. And we spent the entire day just, I mean, walking around the campus with them and singing songs with them. And Everybody I do counselling with says, I think about killing myself three times a week. And so they've been telling me now for years, which is perfect, because it means that I'm telling them, go inside and find yourself. Yes, uh, let me, if I hadn't gone inside myself and found myself, I would have died. I have seen things that we have done to each other as human beings that are despicable. It was, I got emotional because she made me realize that there's so much more beauty within us all and within the people that we meet. You're in a supposedly sad place and you're not. Because think about this, if we can all live here with each other and love each other when we've got nothing, oh my God, what can we do when we've got everything? And whoever you meet has had a terrible life, just think, oh my God, you're a hero. You've survived. You're a survivor. And you're all survivors. If you don't take anything away that you see here today, firstly, can I ask you to take away your own power? You don't firstly go and find yourself because you already are yourself and wonderful person you are. I don't care who told you any crap opposite to that. You are incredible. And you've come for an incredible thing to do. Why don't you say, give her a little something of what she said that struck you? You said things that I think my mom tries to tell me a lot. I don't know why I'm crying, but it made me miss her, but it also, I felt good to hear from someone else. We cry because we touch each other. To touch someone deeply is an amazing feeling. Thank you.
because I just tell myself every day that I am good enough because I wake up lots of days and I just put myself down and I think that I'm not worth it, but that I am good enough. Oh, that's beautiful. I don't have to go to the best university in the world, but it'll be fine. Yes! Oh my god, what an incredible find. <laughs> I just need to find trust in myself, to be honest. And like, yeah, yeah, um, just to find in myself where I can connect with myself, you know? Yeah. Just to have that kind of relationship in my own body, in my own yeah. being. Yeah. I think I want to be more nicer to my parents because I feel like I don't show much love to them yes. as much as I need to. Okay, I'm so I'm happy I made you all cry and met you because I could touch you and I've touched all of you and, and you've touched me because it shows that it doesn't matter where we're born, we are so the same, as yeah. you say. We're all on the same path and very nice to meet you and I hope you have a wonderful day with us. And today you can practice giving. Giving is just beautiful. It's such an amazing feeling to give. find words to describe the amount of joy I felt when I gave these kids what they really needed. They just, they couldn't stop saying thank you and like it made us, I think it made all of us feel so like, you know, it made us feel so happy to like bring so much happiness into their life. Giving them the clothes was, it felt really special and I felt really good doing it. Thank you very much for everything you've done for us. And you know, even when you give the kids one or two items, guys, it just touches them because they never get anything new, you know, and anything beautiful. So it really touches the children. So I just want to thank you guys for taking time out of your busy lives. And uh, you're young and you know you're here helping us. So the universe is going to bless you guys for doing the work that you do. Seeing the amazing work that not only um, Marianne, but also her two daughters, and just all of the adults there, like the work that they do, it's just, it's amazing to see how they've like brought up all these kids and their lives are so much better thanks to just a few people. Seeing beautiful people around me that can show their feelings makes me feel okay about leaving the planet. I can die, because I know you're here to take over the planet. Thank God. Take my hand, take my whole life too. Oh, for want to say to you guys is that your love, your faces will never be forgotten into this kid's heart. It's like you have thrown a tattoo into their hearts. You will never be forgotten for so many years. I can't even explain it. They were just a light to be around, and I really miss them. Oh, oh.